In a v-container feature called security filters. Uh, security filters um, can be hard to use because uh, when you assign a security filter to a permission, like you can only see a certain location, for example, for customers, if you have a permission to read the same data without a security filter, that is actually a stronger uh, permission. Easy Security have a way of supporting that with uh, a field we call security filter table. When we build permission sets, we will basically ignore that table. In that way, you can make a manual created permission set and uh, be able to uh, set up uh, security filters uh, a lot easier. Now. We also can calculate this for summary permission and if um, multiple security filters exist, you actually get an error, so it can also be disabled in that way. If I take a look at one of the permission sets uh, being created uh, by Easy Security in here, uh, like the one about uh, editing a customer, for example. I would see there's assigned permissions in here uh, for the customer table, and this one has uh, no security filter on it, so basically uh, this one will overrule any limitation that you were trying to set with security filter. If um, I go back to the object properties, I'll be able to go to this table and put a checkbox in this column in here that is a security filter table. If I do that and I now go back to my permission set that I was looking at before, the customer edit, and I'll go update the permission set. I'll see that basically that table is now left out at this point. So in that way you can now build manual permission sets uh, for those ones. What is uh, meant with manual permission set is you can do it inside each security, but some of the lookups don't exist and is as useful in here. So let's say I want to build a permission set. I probably want to go to one of the companies where I actually have data in, and that's another limitation of security filters, that basically the filter will be the same uh, everywhere, um, the independent of data. So if I go to the standard NAV security, I'll create a new uh, permission set and uh, I will just have uh, this one customer security filter um, permission set in here. I want to go to the permissions. I want to select the table 18 and in this case I actually just want to do the read permission and I can now do lookup in here and I can go in and say my location for example I want to have a filter where uh, it's uh, actually for the blue or the blank location, for example. In here. Let me make it the other way around here. And I could add as many as I wanted in here. So now I have my uh, filter in here for blank or blue location in here. This permission set is, of course, designed in the normal NAV uh, security tables. So I can actually go back here and in easy security, I'll be able to pull back uh, that permission set in here by using uh, the function in here uh, about getting new permission sets from live in here. So I pulled back uh, the permission set in here, uh, customer limit, and if I look at uh, my builder permissions, they have been uh, copied in here including my security filter out here for location code blank or blue in here. This of course, if I leave it as it is right now, if I open it up and I do an update of permission set, I won't get any permissions of course, because that's one of the tables. So to stop the normal calculations in here, I would actually uh, need to do one thing immediately after pulling it back in here. So. I'll go back again and I'll actually delete this permission set. And I will go ahead and get my permission sets again in here. So I now have my customer limit in here. And if I actually look at it right now, since it's just been copied in here, 
I have the permissions correct in here. To avoid the normal calculation in here, I would actually go in here to this record called the details and delete the detail record. That's the record behind the scene that contains a lot of the information normally used in easy security in here. But I just delete that one. And it didn't delete uh, the permission set itself in here. If I say refresh up here, I will see there is no permission detail any longer. And when I now do updates, um, it just tells me there's not a permission set detail record behind it. So it's just a manually maintained one in here. So in that way, um, you can actually build these permission sets in the normal NAV. You just pull them in here. And in this way, it will now allow me uh, to do those permissions in here. So if I do a publish of permissions in here, and I'll go take a look and see where the customer table end up, I should see it only in one single permission set, uh, being the one here about the customer limits. So in that way, it's uh, quite easy to control that table, uh, even with security filters that are very hard normally to deal with in here. So my permissions successfully published in here. So going back to the normal NAV uh, table for permissions. We can go take a look at the permissions in here for, for example, uh, customer edit down here. And I'll see the table 18, even in this coming from Microsoft have actually been left out. If I go uh, back up to my um, customer limit up here, I'll see that I still have my permission in here. So in that way, it's quite easy to control uh, this one. Simply build those ones uh, that you would need only for that table. Maintain the menu by deleting the details in here. There is one thing, of course, in here that potentially can cause a problem. And when we calculate summary permission, we calculate the total permission a user has. And if you have more than one security filter, it will give you an error and saying that um, we can't calculate it based on two different security filters. So in here, we have an option where you actually can say you don't want any security filters in there. So if you have inconsistent data assigned to the users, we don't get a failure in calculating the summary permissions in here. But that allows you to run everything as normal in here. So by checking this security filter table in the object property, it's quite easy uh, to actually uh, deal with security filters for the one task that is normally a problem, keeping only one permission set with a certain table access. I created manual permission sets, looking the normal lookup and all the other things normally. And then uh, I went in and um, controlled my summary permission. So if I had inconsistent data, security filters are very hard to deal with, have implications in code. And you should take a look at our data security, how we do something similar, but in a way that it don't really affect uh, NAV as much as uh, this one is.